Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to maximize efficient use in making a, d a condenser and, you know, to dupe items and stuff with your MK3 relays and whatnot. You know, just basically create items on the side here without having anything in it. Yes! Amazing! Once you get that far in survival, then you're going to be able to create items without having to do anything. Awesome. And afterwards, I'm going to show you this little random doohickey I made when I was really bored. It's not as useful as anybody would think or as it looks, but, you know, it's fun if you want to be creative with things. Anyway, so first we're going to start off with, uh, to make efficient use of our condenser, we're going to be stacking MK3 relays and MK3 collectors with glowstone stuff. Uh, glowstone dust. I mean glowstone, just glowstone. All right, so we start off with an MK3 collector on the bottom here. Remember, if you want to know how it's built, ah, it's such a pain in the butt to build. I know, I know. You need red matter, obsidian, MK3. Oh my goodness, dark matter, uh, antimatter. Goodness, goodness. Yes, I know. If you get that far in the game, if you get this far in the game, where you can actually create these and create five of these for this thing. Oh my God, you're probably have no life, but I, I'm just kidding. We're using cheats. Or you just, yeah, or you have no life. Anyway, um, so we're going to stack one on the bottom there, press shift, going to put another one right here, and surround it. And this method that I'm using is called the flower. It's, it's, it's yeah. <laughs> so we're going to surround it like so. Starting off like that. And then we're going to surround those by collectors. And the collectors collect energy, convert it to the MK3, wait, I'm doing this wrong. These are, yeah, these are collectors, these are relays. And convert it to the relays, to uh, which then convert it to the energy condenser at the top. And you'll see how this works in just a second. So just surround them all. I'm going to put this on creative mode. Going up. Alright, doing good so far. Flower shape, flower shape, flower, flower, flower. Okay, so we got that good? We have everything surrounded? Derp, 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 derp. Uh, yes. Yes, we do. Okay, we got all of that surrounded. You can also do it on the bottom if you want. I'm not sure if it actually works that way, but I do it anyways. You know, just for a just in case kind of thing. There you go. Okay, now we're going to surround this entire thing in glow dust. Gl uh, glowstone, excuse me. Yes, the entire thing. It's just going to be a big old surrounding part. There we go. 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 Here we go. Keep going. Oh, derp. See, right now it says zero in it because it's converting it to the uh, relays that it's got in there. Go up. Oh my god. This is a pain in the butt. Yeah, so like I said, if you get this far, you know, to where you have enough materials to make this, then, you know. You feel accomplished because <laughs> you finally get to do things. I mean, not have to do anything and just have the items make themselves. Um, let's see, did we surround it? I think we did. I think we're done with this. Yes, yes, we are done. Okay, so you go to the top here. Gonna uh, click some random thing. Diamond ore right here. No, that doesn't have a uh, an EMC value. Gonna go and search in diamond. Look at this diamond. All right, so then we're gonna go right here. We're gonna right click, and look at that! It starts to make itself. Oh my goodness! You can do this with anything that has an EMC value, and yes, it is very is the most efficient way. Uh oh, I'm stuck in here. Derp. Okay, so now I get to show you my little doohickey over here that I did randomly when I was really bored. Okay, so basically what this is, is this, instead of using, you know, fiber glass, or fiber glass, yeah, and cables to, you know, separate all your energy and stuff, you could use a minecart to separate all your energy. What this does is it basically, uh, the MFSU right here, right there, is receiving energy from the HV solar panels. On, surrounding it. Now it's converting the uh, energy it's receiving into this little box right here, which is called an energy loader. And to make that, I'm going to go right here, hover over it, and you can see RE batteries, detector, energy, machine block, so on and so forth. Okay, so what that energy loader does is you see that little MSF, MFSU card going around in circles there? Yeah, it, it does 
it loads it loads energy into that. Oh, I'm derping. It loads energy into the MFSU cart, and I got a clock upgrade to make it go faster when it's loading. Lapatron loader upgrade to uh, give me an extra one million energy because this only holds ten thousand energy if you don't have the Lapatron loader upgrade, and then the transformer upgrade because it's getting energy from the MFSU. This little thing right here is called a boarding track. What that does is it hold the, holds the cart in place. Go away, Ryan. It holds the cart in place when the uh, energy is loading the MFSU. And when the energy is done loading, you can see it's wait, wait till it's full. Wait if empty. If it is empty, it'll start loading it. And then when it's full, it'll start loading it. But it takes all the energy too fast for it to stop, you know, going in circles here. And then right here, we have a already almost full uh, energy unloader. What it does is exactly the opposite of a loader. It takes the energy from the cart and stores it in here, kind of like an MFSU. And then I run the fiber cables to a MV transformer right here. Ooh, go away, you. Why'd you be there? To an MV transformer and then into an LV transformer. And look, it's powering my electrics furnace. Awesome. So yeah, this is uh, dispersing power through, you know, if you want to get creative and have a big old real craft city or whatever and just like have this traveling around dispersing energy anyway yeah so we have the same setup right here some uh... don't know why you're back there should be right here some HV solar panels surrounding uh... MFSU that going into the loader which is loading into the MFSU cart this is going in circles then you hit two power tracks to make it go faster then another unloader unloads the energy from the loader right there into the MV transformer into my induction furnace. <laughs> and yes, you can see it is powering it. And how much energy do we have in here? A lot. All right. So that's it for my tutorial today. Thanks for watching. Um, come out with some more later. Thanks.